Number one will be Park Lane Powerful over the Fighting Major Stable of Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Dave McGee will drive. Two Fox Valley Rachel on by Jack Rednow of St. Louis or St. Charles, Missouri. Ross Leonard up. Number three, Fox Valley Francis on by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman. Dale Heitman will drive. Number four is Fox Valley Fallon on by Nathan Patterson of Lake in the Hills, Illinois. Andy Miller will drive. Five is one at guess again on by Hunt Harness Horses of Vernon Shire, R&D Sampson and Brian Pinsky Stables of Illinois. Brian Pinsky will drive. Number six is Fort and Tell, owned by John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated. And Greg Pistacino of Illinois and California. Ryan Anderson driving. Number seven is Lucy Desiree, owned by John Nessa and Forrest Schumacher of Altamont, Illinois. Eric Ledford drives. Number eight, Fox Valley Platinum, owned by Hotspur Partners Limited of Waterford, Wisconsin, Anthony Morgan. Uh, number nine, Soaring Sammy, owned by John Larson of Denmark, Wisconsin. Laverne Hostetler driving. Here they come. And they're off and pacing away quickly as Fox Valley failing, but on the outside, there goes Lucy Desiree, and Lucy Desiree drives out. Fox Valley failing along their inside with Fox Valley Rachel as they race into the first turn. The leader now is Fox Valley failing and Andy Miller on the outside. Lucy Desiree is racing second. Fox Valley Francis sneaks up the inside to race third. And Park Lane Powerful is now fourth. Fox Valley Rachel is back to fifth as they race over to the quarter mile marker. Now Lucy Desiree is taken off and she finds the rail fourth off the quarter in 27 and a two-fifths of a second. It's Fox Valley Phelan and Andy Miller leading by about a length and a quarter as we head down the back stretch. Second on the inside is uh, Fox Valley Francis. Racing third now, Park Lane Powerful, fourth on the inside. Lucy Desiree, Fox Valley Rachel is back there fifth. Racing at sixth is one, a guess again as they race towards the half mile marker. Fox Valley Phelan, Andy Miller looking for win number four, leads them by two lengths. Fox Valley Francis still second. Park Lane Powerful racing third on the inside. Lucy Desiree's fourth. Fox Valley Platinum now moves up the race fifth. Racing the sixth is Fort and Tell off the half in 56 and one fifth of a second. Quick first half. The Phillies were there in 56 and one. Is Fox Valley failing by a length and a quarter? Fox Valley Francis is still there second. Park uh, Lane uh, Powerful about to make her move third. Racing fourth now on the outside. Fox Valley uh, uh, Platinum. They race over to the three-quarter mile marker. It's still Fox Valley Phelan. Now by two links. Fox Valley Francis is there second. Here comes Park Lane Powerful. And that Phillies now on the outside and driving up for McGee. It's Fox Valley Phelan on the inside. Park Lane Powerful on the outside. Fox Valley Francis along the inside as they race through the lane. It's still Fox Valley Fallon. Late move by Park Lane Powerful. Fox Valley Fallon, Park Lane Powerful. Fox Valley Fallon. down there in the winner's circle hugging his dad that's the owner of this filly Nathan Patterson this is the first career victory for this filly I believe this is probably the first horse that young Nathan has owned he the son of course of Andy and Chris Patterson and the grandson of Doc and Pat Walker Fourth winner on the afternoon card by a Walker Standard Bread at Stallion. The third winner to be bred by Fox Valley at Standard Bread. Their annual yearling sale is in Sherman just two days away. This Sunday at noon, over 155 yearlings will sell at that annual venue at their beautiful farm. 
owned by Nathan Patterson, who's the young man now sitting in the race bike there. Nathan, give everybody a big wave. The son of Andy and Chris Patterson from Lake in the Hills, Illinois. This is a fine two-year-old filly uh, trained by Andy Patterson. Well driven by Andy Miller for Andy's fourth win on the card.